There are other solutions that were proposed by different languages and in theory and in practice to solve these problems. And the first one I want to talk about is a concept called tombstones. That's the first concept I want to talk about. And the idea behind tombstones was that every heap memory would have a tombstone. It won't just be a heap, the heap that we actually access, but it will be, they will have a tombstone. And the idea is that it stays behind even after, right? We would have a tombstone that is actually pointing to the actual memory. And if we have another pointer somewhere on the outside that's pointing to this dynamically not allocated memory, so it's actually pointing to the tombstone. <laughs> now, the idea behind this is that if we go and we have another pointer pointed to the same tombstone, notice that's our beginning of our dangling memory uh, problem. And we somehow, and for some reason, decided to deallocate the memory. So what would happen is that this will actually get disconnected. Here, we're gonna change the pointer to actually equal nil or no, right? This will actually equal no. And we supposedly solved our problem. Why is that true? Because if anybody tried for some reason from different from, we have here A and B, right? If somebody tried to access these uh, dynamic memory, for example, if somebody went and said, okay, let's do uh, star B, right? So we would have it, we would throw an exception. Why is that true? Because let's look at A, what, 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 is, what would it mean to go to say star A and, and access the actual memory? So star A becomes actually the tombstone. And that actually has to become by the, by the system becomes double star A in, a, in, a, in order to actually access the actual, the actual data. Because we are dereferencing A and we're getting to the tombstone. And then we dereference the tombstone to actually get to the data. So now, if we try to do it using B once A was disconnected, so this gets translated also into double star B. Now, the star B, this part right here, is actually null. And when we have a dereference to a null, we have a null, a null pointer dereference exception, right? And that would throw an exception. You might say, well, it's exception, it's not good. The answer to that is that an exception is good. And and I want to point out that the point in, 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 in fixing the problem is not necessarily to fix the problem. Sometimes the point is to find out that there is a problem. One of the major problems with, with dangling pointers were that we have no idea that this is going on behind the scenes. And since we have no idea this is going on behind the scenes, we might actually, actually, we might actually access memory which doesn't belong to us or we might change, uh, you know, segment four to something else. And therefore here, if we get an exception thrown, you get to do graceful degradation. That, that, that's perfectly fine. So we have another solution by actually using uh, a, a tombstone in order, to, in order to access the memory. Now, the deficiencies of this system are actually pretty great. Because first of all, notice that every access to a pointer instead of two becomes three. We showed just a minute ago that accessing a indirect accessing of data is has the cost of, of um, an additional access, which a regular direct accessing doesn't have, right? So here we have a double di 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 indirect accessing. We access the pointer to access the tombstone to access the data. So everything becomes more, uh, it actually triples instead of just doubles. Every access actually triples instead of actually only doubling. And the second thing is also quite important is that we can't have this memory allocated to anybody else. Why not? Suppose there was another, another variable right here that wants to get this data. So, so if we go, let's say it points to the tombstone when it actually allocated the memory, it got the same memory location. So it points to the tombstone. So this null stops becoming null and actually points again to the data. Now, if this was C and you tried to access the data through C, everything would be okay, right? Everything would be okay. But if you now try to access it through B, everything would also be okay, which is obviously not good. So there's actually no real way 
currently of reallocating this data. So here we have again a, a, a memory leak. Notice this, this memory is leaked because even if, if B gets deallocated before the red guy comes in, before C comes, and even if this thing becomes null, like we said before, it actually becomes null, right? This data has to stay because otherwise we might have a collision somewhere and we didn't solve our problem. So we actually, again, when we're choosing uh, between two systems, one system goes and it actually allows for uh, increasing uh, the reliability be due to memory, to, to dangling pointers, and the other is actually decreasing uh, efficiency because of memory leaks. We're actually choosing one over the next. We are choosing in tombstones to actually use, uh, have, use up memory and, and create uh, all this memory leaked, all this, this is memory, this is leaked, in order not to have, right, no dangling pointers. So this is actually a, um, a continuation to the discussion we had last time, whether what's a bigger of the two problems. If you had to solve one at the expense of the other, which one would you choose? Would you choose a dangling pointer or would you choose the memory leak? So we discussed this last time in a previous lecture, but here you see already a second solution doing the exact same thing. In a sense, they went and they created memory leaks in order not to have dangling pointers.